you what's up guys it's your boys pilot 2k7 and we are back for brand new grand Auto 5 firefighter mod video today we're gonna be checking out the new update to fire callouts which adds a lot of cool features first thing first you guys are gonna notice we now have a fire callout menu so we're able to get our equipment and I'm actually gonna do that because I don't have my fire extinguisher yet so this will give you an extinguisher with unlimited extinguishing capabilities basically um, you can also get a flashlight you can get a crowbar maybe it'd be a good idea to add in um, like a hatchet not a hatchet model in GTA is not really like a firefight act but that may be a good idea too and you could also get some flares i don't think we're gonna need flares for now um you're also able to now start the callouts from within uh this menu so you don't even have to use callout manager anymore so that's another cool update and also if you guys look on the map you guys are going to notice that um now the stations have been identified with a new blip which does look better and all of the stations on the map are identified. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this episode started. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button, leave some comments down below, subscribe if you are new, also hit the notification bell because we have new videos every single day. All right guys, so let's go ahead and jump into this episode. So uh, the Blaine County Fire and Rescue, they are currently fighting a huge fire at the O'Neill Ranch in Grapeseed. So right now, uh, the Sandy Shores, or not really the Sandy Shores Fire Station, but the Sandy Shores uh, Station is already responding, or they're already on scene of the call, as well as the units from Grapeseed. And it looks like it's about to go to a fifth alarm, guys. So if it does go to a fifth alarm, we're gonna be dispatched and we're gonna be responding with truck three, as well as engine 11. So let's see what happens. All units, we've got a structure on fire in Grapeseed. Alright guys, looks like the fifth alarm has just been transmitted. Attention all units. The fire at O'Neill Ranch has been evolved to a five alarm fire. All units in the area respond. Alright guys, so we're going to be responding on the fifth alarm to Grapeseed. Alright guys, so we have about two and a half miles to go. Most of it is going to be highway, so it shouldn't take us too long. drivers there. So one thing I like to do is add in uh, extra fire trucks to respond with me. So um, as you can see, engine 11 is also responding. I just use menu to do that. Um, I have some tutorials if you guys would like to see how I do it. Um, I'll link it down below in the video description, but I just like to do that to make it a little bit more realistic with our responses. But that's not actually a feature of uh, fire callouts at the moment. trucks are just gonna keep slowing us down. Go around him. Not on that side. <laughs> oh man. Gotta love the AI. It's like the trucks. Like trucks and buses I notice in this game. They're like, I don't know, they just don't pull over. I guess there's something to do with their uh, meta files. Oh, my God. 
Alright, so it looks like we're gonna update, go to the command post and talk with the chief. Alright, so as soon as we get on scene. Whoa, there it is, guys. I can see it from here. Also, looks like there are other units on scene already, which is cool. So, that is another new thing with some of these larger fires. You're gonna already have the units on scene. Alright, so. Like I was saying, one thing you guys are going to notice, there's already a lot of engines on scene. I think I'm going to go ahead and set up my truck over on this side. Oh, we have people on the roof, too. That's cool. So they're already actively fighting this fire. And we're just coming in as the fifth alarm units. Alright, so let me, uh, let me report to the chief first. I'm going to go ahead and start putting on some of my gear. Let's, let's report to the chief and let's see what they want us to do. But yeah, we have heavy fire here. This is crazy. This is definitely a big one. Alright, where is the chief? Okay, here we go. So I see we also have an ambulance, lots of engines, battalion chief. Here's our um, chief here. Oh, cool. Look at this board. Okay, so let's talk to them. Glad you showed up. This is a tough one. Multi-story house fully engulfed. There are at least three to four trapped civilians in there. Ooh, okay. Oh, that sounds really bad. Do you know their location? The other victim that we managed to pull out told us that there is one downstairs and two to three more upstairs. We have to hurry. They probably already passed out because of the smoke. Uh, we have a team ventilating the roof. Try to make your way inside and get them out of there. If you can, ventilate some windows as well to get better visibility. Call for backup ASAP. All right, you got it, G. So they want our team to go in and assist with the search. So let me get my team together. And let's get in there, guys. Fire truck backup needed and grape seed. Alright, so let's get ready to go in. I'm gonna give myself a hatchet too. I feel like that would probably be helpful. There's a mod that like gives you a fire axe, which is pretty cool. Maybe I could download that. But uh, we're gonna be making entry here. Let's see if we can get these people out. There's my team. Oh, they didn't come with their uniforms though. Okay. <laughs> we're just we're just gonna go in on our own. Let's make entry. Alright guys, so we have our team here. I'm gonna lead them inside. Alright guys, so we made our interior attack. Let's get some f oh this is really bad. Alright, I'm gonna pull out a line too. Now remember we are tasked with searching. So we gotta find this person that's trapped in here. This place is crazy. Lots of fire. This is gonna be intense. Alright, I'm gonna try to search the first floor while they uh, work on putting the fire out. Keep our eyes open. There could be three to four people in here somewhere. I don't see anybody in here. Is there a closet? Nope, nothing's over here. Alright, is anybody in here? Don't see anybody. Whoa, that fire is spreading fast. Trying to make sure we search every possible room here, including closets and bathrooms. Well done, guys. We really should be on TV. All right, I know there's a is there a basement in this place somewhere. Oh oh. Go 
Yes, I found the stairs to the upstairs. I want to try to search the basement though, if we can find it. Is the basement door? It's time to go get some heroes. Thank God, another success. Oh, I should just look at the well map. Done, I see guys. it now. Really so we got it. We got to get through this room to get to the basement. Oh my goodness. I didn't even see that there was a person right there. Try to see if we can get this guy out of here. Oh no. Alright, I gotta I gotta clear away first. Okay, so we got one person out. Go See if heroes. I can get him to the ambulance here. Yeah, I feel so body. I'm just, I'm just dragging him all over the place. All right, I'm gonna hand him off to EMS. I'm not sure if they're gonna do anything with him. I'll, pr I'll probably have to try to get him up myself, I'm guessing. There's still at least two to three more people in there too, so we gotta get back to work. thing with him I guess you know what I'll just uh, I'll call another ambulance for them probably Call ambulance backup required on um O'Neill way All right so they're working on him hopefully he's going to be okay Just noticed there's people on the roof too they're actually like moving around Wait, he has an axe in his hand. What crop is that? Because that's not the axe that I have. Oh man, CPR failed on the first guy. Right, let's get back in. Alright, I'm gonna search the basement. Yep, we do have fire down here too. This place looks like a drug lab actually. But there's no people down here, so that's good. I'm gonna just knock out this fire to make our way to the second floor to finish our search. This is really intense though, like, I'm enjoying this call out. This is crazy. Definitely much harder than our normal fires that we're used to fighting in GTA. This is some dangerous stuff. Look at this. Okay, so we had a fire knocked in the basement. Uh, we still have a lot of fire on the first and second floor. I'm gonna make my way up to the second floor now. Go get some hero 
Oh, I see another person down here. You know what I could try to do too? I could, um, let's see if we could get them alive up here and then I'll try to get them out myself maybe. Sounds like the engine team is making some progress on this floor, so I'm going to get this guy out of there. Alright sir, let's get you out of here. Get back up to the second floor. We still have two to do, one or two more people in here. So this room we already cleared. I'm just gonna go counterclockwise as I search all these rooms. Try to make sure we don't miss anywhere. This room is cleared. in here. Let's get him out of here. Alright, so they said it was uh, two to three people inside, or three or four, I think. We, we took out three, so I think that's everybody. We're going to continue our search, though, just to make sure. And it looks like we got everybody out. Alright, so at this point, oh, I spoke too soon. We got somebody else in here. So at this point, um, I think this is going to be the last person. Uh, now the rest of the teams can just focus on knocking the actual fire out, but this is just crazy. The harder the fire, the brighter the glory! 
Time to go get some hero pussy. All right, so this guy's okay. Oh, cool. We got two for two. Or technically three for three. We got one more. Let's see if he's going to be okay. I keep breaking the animation early back, so... CPR failed on this one. I'm gonna try again though with agency callouts to see if we can get him up. All right, so we got everybody up. Let me see, can I talk to him again? Okay, I can't, so I guess we'll just go and try to put out the rest of this fire. Uh, most of it is interior, it's still a little bit on the outside, so um, I know you normally wouldn't run exterior and interior operations at the same time, but I'm kind of curious. Oh yeah, it actually could reach the fire, so we'll use this a little bit to knock out some of this exterior fire, and then we'll move back in.
Oh shoot. I didn't mean to push him into the fire. <laughs> now they're trying to put it out now that I'm here, that's funny. Well done, guys. We really should be on TV. Thank God, another success. All right. Uh, seems like most of the fire is out on the first floor now. So yeah, it looks like we have the fire knocked on the first floor, also in the basement. So let's just head up to the second floor now and just make sure there's no fire up there. Still hear fire burning though, but I just gotta find out where it's at. There we go. Alright guys, looks like we have this thing under control. No further units required. Actually, I should have went outside and tried to talk to the chief one more time just to make sure that we didn't have any other instructions. But yeah guys, that's going to do it for this one. I really do hope you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think of this call. I think it was absolutely amazing. Had a lot of fun finding this one. Uh, going in and searching for victims definitely was a lot of fun as well. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this one, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. And leave some comments down below. Subscribe uh, if you are new. Also hit the notification bell as well. That way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. And let me know what else you guys would like me to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really do hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.